video lecture, we're going to discuss the solution to Bessel's equation. So, a Bessel equation is a second order ordinary differential equation of the following form. You have x squared y double prime plus x y prime plus x squared minus x squared multiplied by y is equal to 0. So, n here is a given parameter which is a non-negative. The equation can be solved by Frobenius method because x here is a regular singular point. Then, the initial equation corresponding to the power series, series solution will be r plus n times r minus n equals 0 and the roots will give you n and negative n. Let's have the uh, Bessel function of the first kind. The first uh, linearly in, uh, independent solution of the Bessel's uh, equation. So, that is denoted by J sub n which is equal to the following expression. So, k will take the values from 0 to infinity. So, n is also called the, uh, the order of the function and the series will converge for all uh, possible values of x. Okay, obtain the Bessel functions for order n equals 0 and n equals 1. Okay, so in the uh, Bessel function, we just replace n by 0. Okay, so I have x to the 0 here. And then, this is 2 raised to 2k plus 0, k factorial, times quantity 0 plus k factorial. And, okay, so this will give you negative 1 raised to k times x raised to 2k, all over 2 raised to 2k multiplied by k factorial times k factorial. And then, we try to uh, expand the series by substitu substituting the indices, okay, from 0 to, uh, in this case, 1, 2, 3, 4, no? so up, uh, 0, 1, 2, 3. So, this is uh, your, the term for n equals 0, this is for n equals 1, n equals 2, and then n equals 3. So, as you can see, J sub O uh, is expressed in terms of uh, even even powers, no even powers of x. And for n equals one, okay, so you get x raised to one here, two raised to two k plus one, okay, and then one plus k here. So, that gives us negative 1 raised to k, x raised to 2k all over 2 raised to 2k plus 1 times k factorial times k plus 1 factorial. So, substituting the indices starting from 0, okay, so you have uh, x here, so multiply, uh, uh, when k is equal to 0, you get 1 half here, this is when k equals 1, when k equals 3 and so on. And multiply by x will give you a series uh, with uh, odd powers of x. Okay, so since you have even even powers of x here, the the graph would look like or would be similar to the graph of a cosine function. And then this is an odd series for x, so. Um, I mean the the powers are odd, so the the graph uh, would be quite similar to the uh, sine function. Okay, so 
this is your j uh, j sub o and then this is the graph for your j sub 1 okay now we can use the uh, following properties of the bessel functions to evaluate uh, the integral or derivatives of the Bessel's uh, function. Uh, so, this is the first property um, that will change your negative n to a positive n. And then, the derivative, okay, and then this can be, or th this can be used to evaluate the integral, okay, so, also for the third property, uh, you can uh, cross multiply dx here and then integrate. So, that will give you the integral that is, uh, that is, that reduce the value of n, okay, by 1. And then we have the recurrence formula that will reduce the, the value of n. And then the fifth one contains uh, a derivative. No? So you can use also, you can use this property to get the derivative no, of uh, j sub n. Okay, so let's use uh, some of these properties to evaluate this uh, definite integral. Okay, so using this property, you can cross multiply this, okay, then integrate, that will give you x raised to negative n j sub n equals the integral of this, okay. And if we apply this uh, here, uh, you take, we will take n to be 3, okay, so taken n as 3, so this will give you the integral of uh, x raised to negative 3 j sub 4 ok and that is equivalent to since this is negative so you can uh, multiply both equations by negative and that is, and that gives you negative x raised to negative 3 j sub 3 so the integral of this is negative x raised to negative 3 j sub 3 now we try to uh, reduce or express j sub 3 in terms of j sub o, j sub 1. Okay, so using this recurrence relation, okay, so solving for j sub n plus 1, the one with a uh, higher subscript. Okay, so we'll take n equals 2 because this is j sub 3. So j sub 3 therefore is equal to uh, 2 times 2 over x, j sub 2 minus uh, 2 minus 1, so j sub 1. And then we express uh, j sub 2 in terms of j sub 1, j sub o at n equals 1. And therefore, okay, uh, we replace, this is your j sub 3, this is your j sub 2. So, simplifying will give you uh, the following expression in terms of j1 and j sub o. So, if we want to evaluate the integral from 1 to 2, okay, we integrate from 1 to 2, okay. So, we substitute the, uh, the limits, so this equation at x equals 2, okay. So, substitute x equals 2. So, this will give you j, j1 of 2 j sub o of 2 and then minus the lower limit so x will be replaced by 1 so j1 of 1 and j sub o of 1 ok so using the table we will get the Bessel's table ok so this is the Bessel's uh, equation so uh, we have j sub o j sub 1 at uh, j sub o of 1 is 0 0.7652 and then j sub 1 of 1 is 0 0.4401 and 
J sub O of 2 is 0.2239 and then J sub 1 is 0.567 okay so substitute in the okay in this equation okay that gives you the integral which is 0 0.003788 now the Bessel functions of the, of the second kind now will complete the general solution of your Bessel's equation. So it has the following uh, form. So take note that your uh, second kind solution is expressed in terms of the first kind. First kind solution. Okay. So this is this is the first the first two. Uh, second kind solutions no, at n equals 0 and n equals 1. So, the general solution of Bessel's equation in terms of two linearly independent solution will be uh, y, which is a function of x, is equal to the arbitrary constant c1 and then your first kind, Bessel's uh, first kind solution plus another arbitrary uh, constant and then the second kind solution so take note that your x should be should be greater than zero okay so that ends my